Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we are going to talk about my favorite new scooter releases in 2021. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Okay, so in this video, we will talk about my favorite scooters that uh, I will possibly test and review this year. I didn't yet ride them, but in this video, we'll talk about the specs and the stuff and features uh, that we already know and the trends that are upcoming for this year. I already also did a EUC rumors video, so you might uh, check it out as well. The video is linked here. I think that for 2021 we will see a voltage increase so scooters will become 72 volts or become more powerful they will have a higher top speed we'll get also more features like LCD displays better lighting and uh, once again this video is mostly focused on power scooters so there will be no Xiaomi M365s no and I'm maxes just uh, you know really powerful stuff you know the, the, the stuff that I enjoy <laughs> I think also an increase in quality and also also possibly new companies that emerge that will maybe take on the hearts of many scooter riders. This video will not be structured as like a you know top 10 list or whatever. I'll just uh, tell you about my favorite companies um, or the most important companies that are currently on the market and they're like top of the line product coming 2021. Okay, so starting with Cabo. Cabo made the Wolf Warrior, which is a really beloved scooter all over the planet. Um, comment below if you've already tried one out. And this year they're coming out with the Wolf King. And actually the first reviews are already coming out on this scooter. So the Wolf King is a 72 volt scooter, not 60 volt anymore like the last year. So higher voltage means, you know, it can get a higher top speed, possibly also more power and uh, this scooter is supposed to go 100 kilometers an hour battery is a bit smaller at 2000 watt hours so 72 volts 28 amp hours and the charge is very similar at 8 to 16 hours depending on your charger now from the outside it looks very very similar to the original wolf warrior just a, you know different colors uh, but other than that it's pretty much uh, the same story as before though know, around 50 kilograms of weight um you know the zoom hydraulic brakes which are a bit cheaper than the nutt not that good as those but still hydraulic uh, or semi-hydraulic brakes and of course nice features of the wolf mainly the lights and the majestically loud horn so if you have seen a wolf warrior before just check out the reviews that are already on my channel or on other channels the new wolf king is basically a very similar scooter just with more power sort of like a you know tesla model s refresh the next scooter on the list is maybe a bit less powerful but still very interesting it's very similar to the you know zero 10x tech live x7 t10 ddm uh, platform and i'll actually get one for review sometime later probably in this quarter the company is called tne and this is their creator um, lineup of scooters now they're very similar from the outside as said to the tech live x7 but I think it's like a totally different frame and you know maybe reimagined design on the scooter. Uh, it comes with a 60 volt battery which is really nice, 28 amp hours so pretty big. Uh, actually as big as the new uh, V-Set we recently talked about. I'll also talk about the scooter uh, later on. Charging time 7 hours to 14 hours pretty you know, usual for scooters, not good, but usual. And uh, the stem is pretty interesting on the scooter. It's like sort of one stem on the bottom and two stems on the top. I don't know if it will be good or bad, but it's definitely interesting. Uh, sadly, mechanical brakes, 140 millimeters, not the most powerful one. Looks like a good mudguard. 10 by 3 inch tires so pretty good stability top speed around 70 kilometers an hour you know we'll have to test that and the motor is uh, also 1200 watts and 2000 watts um, in peak which should give you you know they claim 8.3 seconds to 69 kilometers an hour <laughs> yeah they, they just wrote 0 to 43 miles an hour anyways Seems fast, seems faster than the Mantis Pro, than the Zyrtonex uh, 60 volt. So um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that, but it looks pretty cool, has lots of RGB. And uh, they also talk a bit about safety in their uh, you know, brochure, about uh, a short circuit protection, over discharge protection, overcharge protection, and their batteries also encased in this like plastic box, which is always great to see. If it's like sealed and there's like um, no air circulation going in and out of the battery compartment that'd be 
really really nice if the scooter is also like pretty well waterproof then this might be a really interesting choice coming soon on the channel so stay subscribed to see the review of this scooter uh, the next scooter i wanted to talk about is the eon motors a blade z and i've actually never tested the blade scooter and i think there's a lot of users that are really happy with their blades especially in the uae uh, united arab uh, Emirates. So if you've tried a Blade 10, just to show your experiences um, below. This scooter is pretty interesting. I mean, it looks pretty dope, like with the, uh, you know, crazy handlebar. I mean, the stem in the front looks a bit like a Wii pad or Curus or, you know, it just looks interesting. But the specs are pretty mwah, on par. Like, it has a lot of RGB, obviously, you can see that. And it has a pretty enormous uh, battery pack, 72 volts, 35 amp hours, so two and a half kilowatt hours with LG cells. So this is pretty much as big as uh, the Dualtron X, which is released like a bit, a bit of a time ago for, but you know, the Dualtron X was like the staple of the biggest battery in scooters. And it's pretty, pretty close. So I guess, you know, ranges of like upwards of 80 kilometers. Uh, should be possible on the scooter. Uh, it will also have 12 inch tires, which is great. Usually scooters have like 10, 11, but 12 is already like gives you a lot more stability and 50 amp controllers per wheel. So this will be pretty fast. Like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, not even the new uh, Dualtron X2 has that powerful controllers, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So yeah, this thing should be pretty fast. I think 100 kilometers an hour should be possible. It does not have brakes. See what I did there? Uh, I think these are 160 millimeter um, uh, rotors, so pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, it also has some pretty interesting suspension setup, so it's like not just the usual springs like you get anywhere. It's actually like EXA or DNM oil hydro hydraulic setup, so this might work uh, better than uh, the usual setups that you have in on scooters. But you know, we, we still have to find out about that, I guess. It will have a 2000 watt motor in the front and in the rear. So as I said, nominal power is really ridiculous. I think it's the same motors they use in the WePad SSR, which is crazy fast. So this is really, really interesting. And it supposedly will be like not that uh, expensive at two and a half thousand dollars. So, you know, the price is relative, but I, in comparison to the other scooters that are currently in the market, that's pretty like not that expensive. And there will be also a LCD display. So once again, LCD display, this will be uh, a common thing you'll see uh, in this video. Like LCD displays on scooters are coming. Like, don't worry, finally, we'll, we'll have that. Uh, so yeah. This is the uh, Eon Motors Blade C, but if you found this interesting, then listen to this. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Be good. <laughs> or Godway. Uh, the company that makes these extremely high performance um, electric unicycles is coming out with two new scooters or two wheeled devices. And uh, one of them is the D103. It's actually a version two of the scooter because uh, they made a D103 before, but they discontinued it. Uh, I guess there was some stuff that was not perfect about the scooter. Maybe it was dangerous. Um, I heard several stories about it, but you know, uh, it's all sort of rumors. But there's also a Alien Rides review on the D103. Um, but now they're coming out with a V2 version and just listen to these specs. Two motors with three and a half kilowatts of power, nominal power. Uh, pretty, pretty ridiculous, which will propel the scooter in 2.8 seconds from zero to 50. And just as a reminder, a dual twin thunder can go in like four seconds, four, four and a bit, zero to, to 50. And this is, oh, actually it's 2.6 seconds. I just, sorry, I read that wrong. So ridiculously fast and uh, top speed should be any anywhere around 85 kilometers an hour. So what you usually see in the Wolf Warrior and stuff, but I guess this acceleration will be totally ridiculous. And the, the thing you have to know is that these companies, EOC companies, they use different controllers. They don't use uh, square wave controllers. They use sine wave controllers, which are way more efficient. They don't have this like bzzz sound. You can also tune them in the app and also the regenerative braking can be better adjusted. Like these are just better controllers and I'm very excited for the D103. Uh, when it comes to battery, it's, um, I believe it's actually the same pack they use on electric unicycles. So it's 1800 watt hours, 100 volt peak voltage. So it's like 86 volts nominal. So the charging time should be 3.6 hours, which is 
amazing. Like, that's fast charging. Like, come on, get this everywhere. It will have a liquid cooling system, which is also, I believe, a world's first on a scooter. It looks like from a computer, like from a gaming computer, but you know, if it works, then it works. And yeah, it's just exciting. We'll have dual front shocks. Weight will be pretty heavy at 57 kilograms. And the frame all in all looks uh, like a you know, Lao Che Boyeda. Um, something from, you know, some, some sort of Chinese uh, frame you can get. I, I hope just that they make it like safe enough in terms of, you know, rigidity and, you know, or also battery safety that, you know, it, it's just safe for everyday use. But you, with 2.8 seconds from zero to 550, like this is a lot of Gs or I don't know, maybe it's one G. I don't know, how many Gs could it be? Anyways, uh, there's also like riding modes in there. I just found it funny, so I wanted to tell you guys. There's soft, there's medium, and crazy. Like, not hard, but crazy, okay? I want to ride in a crazy setting, obviously. They also, they're also telling about a 150 watt front headlight. Uh, not so sure about that, we go there, but okay. And there'll be also alarms, like, that's pretty cool, uh, in terms of like overpowering the wheel, I mean, overpowering the scooter, uh, having a too high temperature of the motherboard and stuff. So this is really, really good to see. And there'll be also a steering damper, which is always great on scooters. Like I tried the steering damper on the Drill X and it works a charm, really cool. This is one of the two scooters or, you know, two wheel devices, Bigotti is coming up this year. But the next thing is even more crazy. It's the Bigotti Extreme Bull. <laughs> like for real what is this even like <laughs> it, it, it's like a seated I would call it a hog a flying wild hog maybe but extreme hog maybe that's like the name because you're just sitting really low to the ground it's a tubular frame actually so it's much more rigid you have these foot plates in the front which so, you, so your feet are essentially like on the front of a scooter like your um, bumper I guess which, which which doesn't sound really good but I guess maybe it does make a for a good weight distribution there's like a, a backrest in the in, in the rear and like <laughs> I, I think it's a great idea like I really think and I really want to try it I you know I'm, I'm a sucker for you know new products and new sort of uh, designs but this looks like really 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 cool and it's also really powerful so it uses the same three and a half kilowatt motors two two times 3.5 kilowatt per wheel and it has a ginormous battery of 4400 watt hours so just to just to compare for you guys 2.7 kilowatt hours was in a Dualtron X. This is like one and a half times bigger than the um, Dualtron X. So it's a huge battery. Like slowly we're encroaching on a electric motorcycle, like a zero um, ter territory. So pretty, pretty huge. And the battery charges in four and a half hours, which is ridiculously fast. Awesome. So it's, it has to be like a 10 amp charger. Um, 90 kilometers an hour should be the top speed and 2.8 seconds, zero to 50 mind boggling really fast like there's, there'll be also a review coming up on the electric dreams channel so you can check it out there and you know jack's just telling me like this thing is ridiculous like it's just wheel spin which, which i believe fine you know fine but yeah, i want to try it but it, it looks really exciting and if i can get my hands on it you'll be the first to see my reaction there so because it's also like the shape is different it's actually like really really compact so it'll be much smaller than a usual you know stand up scooter because it's just like one meter in length and 60 centimeters is the width and 80 centimeters is the length so it's like really just a small angry cannonball of power, which, which is a great idea, I think, for a um, exciting product. So it should weigh around 55 kilograms, so actually the same weight or lighter than the D103. And it will have also speakers, 35 watts in the front. Fine, I guess, yeah, cool, finally a scooter with speakers. I, I really think that's a good idea. And also turn signals and a 30 watt front headlight, which is also awesome. It will also feature the same safety alarms as the D103 and yeah, it's, I think it's just so cool. Like there's videos on this extreme bull uh, coming out on the internet and I think it's just, yeah, it's like angry. Like I would definitely put like a little flag on the, on the rear, which like recumbent bikes have. So, you know, people could see me because it's just like, I, 
like if you're riding in a car and you see like a small dot, like a small cannonball on the street, like it's, it's really to dismiss it. Like this is probably of the whole list, the most exciting product for me. Maybe not for you, but for me, it's like, yeah. I'm just extremely excited about it. Next, we move on to mini motors. And so, like most of the mini motor stuff has already been like, you know, released, but I haven't seen many reviews on uh, these scooters. And definitely I would just like to try on a try out one of these. So let's start with the Storm, which is the successor of the Dultron Thunder. Um, it now has a bigger battery at 72 volts, 31 amp hours, and which is 2.2, like seven kilowatt hours on LG cells. But the important thing is that the battery is actually removable. So this is one of the only power scooters uh, next to the Mercane MX-60, which is like not that powerful, to have a removable battery, which is awesome. Like, like you can have two batteries and just rip it and then change one battery for the other one. And you know, you can also just leave the scooter somewhere and just take the battery. Like it is more comfortable to take a battery with you though, which weighs, you know, probably like 15 kilograms then just taking the whole scooter with you. I don't know, probably in the rain, I wouldn't want to get the scooter inside, but it's a cool option to have. Uh, charging time will be like 20 hours or 10 hours with the standard chargers. And if you get a fast charger, it will be like five hours. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it will have 3.3 uh, kilowatts per motor uh, peak power. So more powerful than last year's, you know, Thunder or last couple of years Thunder. And the controllers will be 40 amps. Uh, FYI, I think on the Extreme Bull and D10, the controllers are like 120. Uh, top speed should be around 100 kilometers an hour, so also faster. And it also does not have brakes with 160 millimeters. Uh, the front lights are still, pff, ugh, like for real, they're just shit. And there's also like a new tail light uh, slash footrest in the rear, which is also really welcome. You know, the, usually you have to just buy a uh, another carbon revo or some sort of accessory for the dual to have a footrest, but now it's there. But they still didn't add a decent front light, which is very sad. Maybe it's also just their politics. They want to just upsell you uh, different products uh, and lights. There, anyways, there's also a new clamp, but most of the dual storm just looks very similar to the dual thunder, except for the bigger you know performance upgrade and the removable battery uh, then we have also the new dualtron x2 so the successor of the x it also has a bit of a bigger battery 72 volts and 42 amp hours 3000 uh, watt hours charging time should be like eight hours or three like depends on your charger but probably you can also charge it in 30 hours if you have a, a slow charger top speed uh, 100 plus kilometers an hour so faster and it's actually more powerful than the storm as well which it should be at 4150 watts peak output per motor um, on the, on the, the scooter. It also comes with the 13 inch street tires, which are phenomenal. And it also does not have uh, brakes as you know, all dual trends. Um, you know, uh, it's a similar story, performance bumps, some small things, pretty cool, uh, but not like a world changer. I think the storm is still more interesting here because of the removable uh, battery. If you want to see any of the older versions uh, review on my channel, then there's also a Thunder review comparison and there's also a Dolphin X review. And I love the Dolphin X, probably my favorite scooter, like overall scooter on the market. And then we also have the new Dolphin Ultra V2, which is now actually faster than the um, Dolphin Storm because it does have like more space because the battery is not removable. So it's a uh, a 72 volt 35 amp hour unit with with two and a half kilowatt hours of battery capacity so there's also the small things new tail light uh, footrest does not have brakes and it, it has these cool you know off-roady tires and top speed should be anywhere between the x2 and the storm so it has actually a higher top speed than the uh, storm so this is uh, the new stuff uh, like the new interesting powerful stuff at mini motors pretty cool but also like not a game changer in this moment. I'm, I'm really glad they moved to 72 volt, but there's a lot of other stuff that, you know, they could improve. They could also make like a new chassis. Like that, that'd be pretty cool, but they didn't. Next on the list, we have Ryan. And Ryan is always innovating in their scooters. And Ryan scooters are the most powerful, the most exciting, the most, you know, craftsmanship, but they also do cost a lot and you have to wait a lot, like a long time to, to, to get one. Like I don't know how it is now, but 
usually if you're ordering Orion, it takes a while, it takes a while it gets there, but it's definitely worth the wait. So I, I'm actually in contact with Ryan from, from time to time and they tell me like about these new things they are innovating and uh, just take a look, look at this clip. Yeah, I think that says it all. I mean, it would be cool to see a new body shape by Ryan, but I think that will be not happening anytime soon. Like we saw the new controller cover on the Ram Thrust and I think on the RE90 as well. So probably this will be direction that will be going, but you know, speed, <laughs> that, that, that's all about Ryan, but it's exciting. So the next company on the list is Apollo and Apollo is also a company that is getting like more and more popular across the United States and Canada. So um, I'm actually also in contact with them. Um, you know, we're talking from time to time. Uh, anyways, I think their, mo their most important or their most ex exciting scooter for this year is the Apollo Phantom, which has just been released. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks very similar to like a Zero to Next and stuff. And from the parameters, it's actually does also look very similar to that, but I believe that their quality and their uh, like inside and the inside of the scooter is very much different from such a scooter. Yeah. So it actually has a sine wave controller, which I love. As I said, not many scooters have that. The Joltrons still have this, these square wave controllers, which tend to burn a lot and you know, have to turn off the region there because it will burn. And with these controllers, you get a 1200 watt nominal power per motor or 1800 watt uh, peak power, uh, which will propel you to like 40 miles an hour, which is 65 kilometers an hour. But I think that the power delivery will be much different and they have this awesome high region uh, so you pretty much don't have to use the mechanical brakes at all. It also has these 10 by 3 inch tubeless tires, pretty cool, and a better front headlight with a thousand lumens which is great to see. So it, And it's also placed up higher on the stem so I think this will also give you a bit more visibility and also have turn signals which is cool. The battery as said pretty similar to a 0 to next 23 amp hour probably uh, maybe different cells I don't really know but very similar a good mock guard double rear suspension which is pretty interesting oh that's also on the d103 in the front and it's actually ip54 rated great so you can ride in, with the scooter in in rain i guess and it also has a lcd display which uh, they talk about like there's a really interesting keynote you can check out uh, i'll also link it in the description of this video and apollo is really i think going in the right direction with the quality they have in their products and i would also really like to see more ip rated and really like you know short circuit protected battery uh safety included scooters yeah <laughs> because we do ride in the rain and it just sucks you know if you have a scooter and just ride once in the rain your motor is flooded or the battery compartment is full of water like good direction there apollo so next we have also another company uh, which also does electric unicycles it's uh, king song so they are coming out with a n11 scooter i guess it's 11 inch duh and it's also very similar to the Zero 10X stuff, uh, but it has a bigger battery. I guess they have also some sort of frame they import and they just put their guts inside. Uh, it's a 1300 watt hour uh, battery, so pretty usual, 60 volt, but the difference is usually in the controllers. So once again, EUC controllers, really powerful. So uh, I've been just talking with Jack and uh, from King Song, and it's now set at 35 amps, which is like really, pretty zippy. It's the same as the boost power on the VSET scooter recently, but probably they set it lower. I don't know, but pretty cool scooter. I think it's pretty cool that there's more uh, stuff to choose from. It will have 1200 watt motors and top speed should be like 65 kilometers an hour. And we'll also have this, you know, cartridge suspension like the um, Dualtron Thunder and the Dualtron uh, Ultra. And it also does not have brakes. Probably the difference in this scooter is that it will be very quiet and it will also have a lot of torque. Like that's my predictions. I don't know, but that's how it sounds like. Hope I'll get my hands on one at some time soon. So next scooter on the list is the Fob, 
FobOS or FobOS, FobOS Model X, like not the Tesla, but, but the FobOS. I guess you can't copyright a letter. So anyways, this scooter is, seems to be based on a Dualtron Thunder or, you know, Dualtron Ultra, but the guts of it will be what, like way more powerful. And it will have 45 amp controllers. So 3.6 kilowatts per motor peak power output, which puts it above uh, the new Dualtrons. Uh, so it's a 72 volt battery, 39 amp hours and 2.8 kilowatt hours of capacity. So once again, better performance than, or like bigger performance than the new upcoming Dualtron. It's actually bigger battery than the Dualtron X. The charging time should be like six to eight hours, which is cool that we don't see like this 20 hours or whatever. 11 inch tubeless tires, what we expect, 48, 48 kilograms. We'll have RGB, uh, lots of RGB actually, a pretty good mug guard. And finally, the Megura MT5e brakes. Now this is the only scooter on this list which has really good brakes. Like, I mean, except for Ryan, they have MT7 <laughs> Megura brakes. But MT5e is a really cool solution and I'm glad they went with that. Uh, people also choose the Megura brakes as an aftermarket to their scooters. Now here it's included in the box, so that's awesome. Uh, there'll be also a steering damper, lights and a horn like a decent light, not like the usual thunder light, and supposedly it will go 120 kilometers an hour, which, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if or when or how they will ship, but they have a site, you can check these scooters out. So if they do it, then it'll be pretty exciting. Next scooter on the list is the VSAT scooters. Now we have also already covered the 10 plus unboxing, I'll soon also unbox other scooters by this company. Essentially it's like a Falcon PV or like a zero tech life, like a new version, like a new generation. So that's uh, that's how it looks like. Uh, I've already covered the 10 plus. It's really cool. Uh, 30 amp controller is really fast. And most importantly, it looks like a well thought out scooter. It has like the RFID scanner to open the scooter up. And uh, also has like way better quality in my opinion, but I have to yet review the scooter. I just unboxed it now. but. What I wanted to talk about is the 11 plus, which is sort of like a Wolf or your esque scooter, very similar looking, but it has also like a differently folding handlebar than the Wolf. Like it has handlebars folding like the TechLive X9. So power should be big, two motors with 1.5 kilowatts of power and a top speed around 85 kilometers an hour. We'll have also a Pretty wowza front light. It looks pretty cool, pretty powerful. And the controllers are 50 amps. So as powerful as the Blade Z. Cool. This will be fast. This will be pretty, pretty quick. And there's also this twin um, rear suspension, 160 millimeters, sadly zoom brakes. Not, uh, it, is, it actually does not, not have brakes or it does not have nut brakes. And it's actually a 60 volt scooter. So. Uh, no, it's not as fast as the Blade Z because the Blade Z is 72 volts. So 60 volts, 42 amp hours, two and a half kilowatt hours of power of uh, battery capacity, which is pretty cool. A cool upgrade from you know the Thunder or the uh, Wolf Warrior, and it also has these like cool uh, XLR ports um, to charge up the battery. Like I, I wish there would be placed differently, but you know, that's where they are. I think it's also like a trend in, uh, in 2021, like the ports are just on the top of the scooter, which not really a big fan. I, I, I think that's, it's better if you have the ports like sideways somewhere. Anyways, it will be IP44 rated, so barely waterproof, like not really. And, uh, but something like it's protection against uh, dust ingress, like one millimeter dust particles. And uh, it will be 58 kilogram heavy, so pretty heavy. There'll be also other scooters in the VSAT lineup, but I think that's the most, um, most exciting one. Now, let's move on to the next one, and this is actually pretty, pretty interesting. This is the Viper scooter, and there's like a different website for Viper. Don't check it out. Check out the one that is, or, or like a group that is in, in the description of this video. Viper scooter, like whatever that is, it will be hopefully like a mass-produced scooter. It is like everything that the community wanted. So there's like basically this one dude just working on it and making it better and better and testing everything, testing different components, so waiting for feedback, like doing everything in the workshop. And there's like this whole group on Facebook that just shows you the progress of building the scooter, which is pretty exciting. And most excitingly, it's one of 
two scooters in uh, this lineup that has a tubular frame, a tubular frame, uh, bigoti extreme pull. <laughs> Uh, so this tubular frame is pretty awesome because it gives you like so much more rigidity. It will have also like a great geometry. Uh, so that is also pretty cool. And supposedly you also have a lot of power, but there's not really much I know more about it. 50 amp controllers and 120 amps of BMS, 120 amp BMS. Maybe if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll find out more about it soon enough. Now, before we move on to the last scooter, I've also wanted to mention another company which I'll start working with as well, uh, which is, wait, how was it? Which is Xtron, yeah, Xtron. So Xtron, I don't really if they do like their own scooters or they just take a frame and then sell it, but it looks pretty cool. Like their most powerful scooter is relatively cheap at like $1,500. 13 inch uh, tires and like it looks very similar to the Boyeda or whatever they're called, Laochi scooters and 72 volts, 7000 watts of peak power total, so three and a half kilowatts per motor. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks pretty powerful, but I don't know really you know, about the quality and stuff. So hopefully I will receive one of those for testing sometime soon. But if not that, you'll see like the EX20 or whatever um, before, for, because I'll get that for testing probably. So moving on to the last scooter, and this is like not really a new release, sort of just a bonus. Uh, it, it's the WePad Fold. And I don't know why, but I, I, I think that just the scooter didn't receive much or enough love last year. Maybe because it's uh, like nobody bought it, <laughs> or maybe it's just because of production. But this scooter is pretty cool because it's actually folding in two areas. That's why it's called Fold, yeah. Or should it be like called Fold 2, I don't know. Galaxy Fold. Uh, so the stem folds as usual, but also the rear tire or wheel, the whole rear assembly folds as well, making it like much smaller to fit into a, a car if you, if you have a car. So, Power of the scooter also pretty substantial, 1800 watts uh, peak power. I, I guess substantial, it's sort of fast. Uh, pretty light at 33 kilograms in terms of like power scooters. 70 kilometers an hour off top speed, so like 45 miles an hour. And the battery will be 60 volt, 30 amp hours, which is based on Samsung 21700 cells. So pretty cool. Uh, really good to see Samsung cells. I like Samsung cells much more than LG. Charging time. 17 hours or like seven and a half, seven and a half hours, 10 by three inch tires and IP65 rating. For realsies, uh, I don't know about that. Maybe it's just uh, on the side where I was looking at the distributor, but IP65, that's like water resistant actually. You could, you could put it like underwater. So I highly doubt that. So yeah, and of course RGB, everything like like as usual on, on Wii Pet scooters. So this, uh, these were my scooters, which I find the most exciting in 21, 2021 to, to check out, to you know, look forward to. And if you like this video, then leave a like on it. If you're still here, please comment what you like the most, what would you like to see on the channel the most. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. And thank you also to my majestic patrons. You help me out a lot. See you soon.